I think that these these changes happen. They just happen in different pace in different places. Yeah? The most advanced newsrooms, very often the most successful with the uh, in reader revenue, are the newsrooms that actually started to adjust their uh, the the journalism that they produce to the needs of their customers. So in a way, they are getting more customer centric. They they look at the data about. Uh, uh, the stories that are attracting new new potential subscribers and they are uh, engaging the current subscribers and this very much affects what actually coverage do they do they create where do they send their journalists they also start to you know reallocate resources uh, uh, because services are, are basically in essence about uh, creating audiences uh, cr creating experiences for people so journalism becomes more participatory as a, as a thing you know if you think about the process of journalism like from the observation collection of information verification I don't know editing and so on and so on journal you know the, the audience is very much invited into this process to create an experience around content production you know? So, so, so the, the public is invited to be experts, to provide some, some sorts of insight, information, maybe collect the data, maybe very help verify the data. Maybe journalism, the delivery is not just about like written text, and not only about video or audio, it might be about live events, it might be about meetings. So this is, this is, another, big, uh, this is another big change in the, in the newsrooms. You also see new roles in newsroom popping up. You, you have audience development people in the newsroom suddenly. So people who are responsible for finding audience for the, for the content, for the, for the journalism that is, that is produced in this newsroom. People who are responsible for facilitating engagement with, with users. You see, uh, you see new functions like, I don't know, growth hackers. And these are people working with the product and marketing on how to uh, increase engagement of you know, potential or current audiences. You also see you also see, uh, I think, the elevation of customer service. Traditionally, customer service was was a, was a sort of a, I don't know, a, 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 a fulfillment part of the fulfillment process. You will have some people, you know, a, a, a hotline in the maybe run uh, by a by a circulation department just to handle, you know, the problems with the distribution. But you know, <clears throat> whenever people call the hotline of a newspaper, they think they talk to journalists. And this is like all over the services. Based on the research, academic research, we know that people actually, in people's minds, like the customers' minds, uh, uh, people are part of the service. They don't differentiate. They, they, they think, you know, uh, that uh, people who provide the service are actually part of the value proposition, the contact with them. And I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting framework, but it also means that we need to, uh, and some publishers are doing it, the, uh, editors take control over the customer service because this is part of the job, this is part of the engagement that actually newsrooms in, 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 in uh, service companies is required to think about.